Welcome to part two in this quick unit tutorial. And uh, I'll just show you where we were at last video. And quite simply, I just have a multiplayer setup uh, where the motion is synced smoothly across the network. But at the moment, uh, there's no rotation. So I need to bring that in. That's something I need to fix. Uh, I guess another thing is uh, I guess that when the mouse also tilts, oh, sorry, well, the, the camera moves, tilts up and down, I should also have that happen uh, in the remote instance as well. And I needed to fix um, the scene changing as well from offline to online, and also uh, just bring in some spawn points, some automatic spawn points. So I'll start with the scene uh, changing business first. So what I need to do is uh, go to my build settings. So filed build settings, and I need to add uh, the menu scene. All right, and move it up to the top because it is supposed to be the first scene. And uh, that's not it now, the network manager. So I'm currently in the main scene and uh, I'm just gonna copy this network manager and uh, just paste it over in the menu scene. So I just paste it here and I'll come back to the main scene. I'll just save that and delete the network manager from there. Go back to the menu scene, okay. And now I'll drop in the scenes. There we go, so now it'll work. Good, so now I'll have automatic scene changing. And let me just check, yep, that's all good. All right, so I guess why not? I just build and run it and just see that it works. Yep, the two scenes, build and run. Uh, yep, save over, okay. That's fine. All right, and just jump in there. And that, what you're seeing there right now where the lighting looks all bizarre, that is in fact a bug. So you can see that it does switch this. So this is the scene, uh, the offline scene. And when I join the game, it just automatically switches me over to the online scene, to the, I guess, the game scene. Now this, uh, what we're seeing in the editor there, which distracted me, is a uh, bit of a bug. And to fix that, uh, the scene needs to get uh, light mapped. Uh, so let me bring up the lighting uh, window. Uh, there it is. Uh, drop that in. And under light map, turn off auto. And I will just build a light map. So just build it. Done. And, oh, whoops, probably the wrong scene. That's, sorry, my fault. There's no point in light mapping that scene. Uh, so turn it off here on the main scene and then build. And there. Okay, so now it should be fixed. So for example, if I go back to the menu scene and I hit play and uh, start a game. Okay, good. It's all fixed. So the lighting's okay now. So it doesn't become all funny looking. All right, so that's it for that. So now I have an automatic transitioning uh, scene from the offline to online. And I'm going to make another script. So I'm going to call this one uh, player. Ah, player sync rotation. And I'm going to attach it to the player. So I'll just bring the player prefab. And another thing I'll do is I'm going to drop uh, this cube into the first person character. Continue. Reason being because the first person character, let me go back to the inspector, is what has the camera and it is what tilts up and down around the X axis. And so this cube will also tilt uh, with that first person character now. And I might just also move that in a little bit more so that it's easier to see. Uh, because of course the uh, 1024 uh, player is not a widescreen one. It's not 16 to nine aspect ratio. So I just move that in a little bit just to make sure that I can see it. Uh, okay, so I'll just apply that change. And did I attach the script the reason why I brought it there? No, I didn't. So I will drop in the sync rotation. And uh, now I'll go ahead and edit that. Uh, so I need two rotations to sync. I need to sync two rotations. One is uh, the player's rotation, the player game object. And the second is the first person character's um, 
uh, rotation. So for both of them, I'll want to, yeah, well, before I can use a sync var, of course, I need to use using unity engine dot networking and to change this to derive from uh, network behavior. Uh, whoops, I've got the semicolon, and that is why it's not letting me uh, do the autocomplete network behavior. That's better. And then sync var. And I will call this one private quaternion. Uh, let's see, player, well, sync player rotation is what I would like to call it. Sync player rotation. And the next one, sync var. Private quaternion. And sync cam rotation is what I'll call it. Okay, so. Uh, and also, of course, I need, what else do I need? I need, I need a serialized field. Private player transform. And I also need a serial, oh, whoops. I'm forgetting the type. Transform. Private transform, that's better. And then serialized field. There's really no need for me to actually type private at all at any of these places because uh, it's automatically private. Uh, transform, and this one will be the cam transform. And uh, I'll also have a serialized field, uh, private float lerp rate, which will start with 15 for rotation. Nah, eh, why not? Okay, uh, next thing I should do is to write a function to lerp. So uh, void lerp rotations. And all right. So to do that, I need to do uh, player transform dot rotation is equal to quaternion dot lerp from the player transforms current rotation to the supplied sync player rotation at the rate of time dot delta time multiplied by lerp rate. Okay. And next, I'll do that again. And I will call this uh, the cam transform instead. Just copy that over. Apply it here, and for this one, sync cam rotation. All right, and this is only supposed to happen on uh, the non-local players. So if not is local player. So all of the remote instances in our game will have this lerping going on so that they appear smooth in our game when they uh, turn. Okay, done. Uh, next one, I need a command. So I'll put in there command tell the server to supply the server with these uh, values. And I will call this uh, void cmd uh, provide rotations to server and two parameters. I'll give the server two parameters. And those are uh, both quaternions. Uh, so one is a quaternion uh, player rotations or rotation and quaternion cam rot rotation and once they're supplied all that happens is that uh, sync player rotation is now equal to player rot and sync cam rotation uh, let me just scroll down a bit there uh, is equal to cam rot okay well, let me just make a bit of space that's better okay so I've got my command now, I'm not calling it yet. Uh, so I need a function to call it, and this is called on the client. And I'm gonna call this one uh, void transmit it rotations. And it only happens on our instance, so if is local player. 
So only the owner of the player character uh, is can invoke. Well, the thing is, a command can only be invoked by the owner of that player, so by the local player. So you can't actually have, um, you know, other remote players that you don't control. You can't actually run command uh, functions on them. So you can't get them to talk to the server. Only your character, which you control, can talk to the server, uh, as far as I know, like using a command. Okay, so if is local player, um, then of course what I want to do is I want to run the command. So command provide rotations to server. What am I providing? I'm providing the player transform dot rotation and the cam transform dot rotation. Okay, now I need to actually call these functions. So I'm going to use a fixed update and. Um, uh, which one would I call first? I guess it really doesn't matter. Transmit rotations and then alert rotations. Okay, and is that it? I'm not forgetting something. I don't think I'm forgetting something, but anyway, uh, I'll come back to the player now and uh, slot in those uh, items. I'll just click away, come back again. That's it, it's fixed up now. Right, so I'll drop in the player transform and uh, the first person character transform, which is my cam transform. Hit apply. Okay, and uh, I guess delete the player, save the scene, just do a quick test run. Nothing obviously wrong. Okay, at least my uh, cube is moving up and down let me zoom out a little bit here so it's a bit easier to see so yep that's moving up and down good okay so now build that control b is the shortcut i guess and that i probably should just get rid of the um, uh, splash screen so i'm not waiting so long well it's not like i'm waiting very long anyway all right so I would say that is working. Let me get in front. Okay, good. There you go. See the rotations are working. Uh, you can see that the funny, uh, it's not even a cube actually. I don't even know why I called it a cube. It's, I guess I should have called it a pointer or something, but that rotates. Um, it's good. And uh, that's it. Okay, done. Job done. Next. Right. So now I want to um, have some spawn points uh, and it's you can have at the moment the spawn location spawning is I think it's just happening um, just random but I'm not 100% sure actually where's the player spawning now that I think about it I never even paid attention is it at zero 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 let's have a look no it isn't it is a little offset so maybe it does it a bit of a random around zero 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 I'm not sure actually or is no I have no idea okay so I'll keep going and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make some empty game objects. I'll reset the position and uh, oh, actually wrong scene. So I'll delete that. Go to the main uh, scene. Save changes. That's fine. Uh, right here is where I want to uh, put in spawn points. Otherwise, the other one, nothing is going to happen. Never going to get used. And I will lift that up. I can't remember. Maybe it's a one is enough to stop them from falling through the floor. I hope so. Uh, well, the only way is to try it all out. And I will just call this a spawn. And to get a spawn to work, to be automatically used as a spawn point, we have something called a uh, network start position here. So if you have one of these uh, attached, I don't think I need a network identity. Well, I'll find out soon enough. I don't think I do. But with this attached, uh, then the players will be spawned at a location that has this attached. Uh, and while I'm at it, uh, well, I'll just make a, an, a something to house these spawn points. I will call this uh, spawn points and uh, just zero it out for no particular reason. And uh, oops, not that way, this way. Okay, and then make some duplicates. All right, uh, move them around. Move this one, say this way, rotate it about. 
okay and this one bring it out there and uh, just do a bit of a rotation and hopefully uh, my y values are not incorrect actually i probably should have just tested it out um oh yeah first i've got it now because i don't have a network manager here i have to go to the main menu uh to the menu scene and then run it and that worked actually uh, i can see that it spawned at a different location so why don't i try that again okay hang on what just oh right wait what what on earth happened hmm let me try that again so i join in stop and looks like it's not going back to the other scene offline scene none interesting I thought I said that. I must have forgotten to. Let me save that. Now I'll try it again. Go. All right. Stop. Okay. Now it's working. So I, I must have done something wrong earlier in the uh, video and just forgotten to drop in the uh, menu scene. So my mistake. All right. So now it's working fine. I can log in and log out. Let me stop that. Let me build again. Just make sure that it's okay. Hit play. All right. Let's see where this one spawns. Oh, same place. Let me stop. Let me jump back in. Okay, different place. Good. Try again. A different place. Good. So that's it. The spawning system is definitely working. Uh, it picks any one of the spawn points at random. That's what I chose. I chose random. All right, so that is very good. That's it. I guess I've covered everything for part two, if, if I can remember everything I was intending to cover. And while I'm at it, I could turn off the splash screen by just unchecking that. So if I hit Control B and let's see how quickly that loads up. Oh, that's, that's just instant. Okay, that's perfect. And jump in again, yep. All right, so that's good. All right, so uh, that's the second part of this uh, unit quick tutorial done. So I just quickly showed you after trial and error how to have a, a nicely transitioning offline to online. It's, it's really quite impressive that it's automated and also how to have um, spawn points, automatic spawn points, so no code coding required whatsoever. And then the... Um, smooth syncing of player rotation across the network as well. All right, I hope you found it useful. Thank you.